Hey, welcome back to Cool Classics. Today we're going to be looking at the life and career of Gregory Sierra, born January 25th, 1937 in New York, New York. Now most of you probably know him from Barney Miller or Sanford and Son, including myself. But before I get into those shows, let's take a look at some of his other accomplishments. All right, so his first acting appearance came in a television show in 1969 called It Takes a Thief. Then the same year, he appeared in the series The Flying Nun, which was about a group of nuns, but yes, one of them could fly. <laughs> and then in 1970, he was on Mission Impossible, the TV show, along with McCloud. Now, the same year, he got his first movie role, and that was in a film called Beneath the Planet of the Apes. The same year, he was also in Getting Straight and Weekend of Terror. In 1971, he appeared in two films, Red Sky at Morning and 40 Graves for 40 Guns. In 1972, he appeared in three movies, Pocket Money, The Culpepper Cattle Company, and The Wrath of God. Now the same year, 1972, is when he first appeared on Sanford and Son. He played the next door neighbor to Fred Sanford named Julio Fuentes. Over the course from 72 through 75, he appeared in 12 different episodes. And this is where I know him from the most because I am a super fan of Sanford and Son and I'm from right around St. Louis here. <laughs> and so there's a lot of Red Fox, Sanford and Son stuff tied into the St. Louis community. And I can take you and show you some of that stuff here. So um, stick around. But yeah, in those 12 episodes where he stands out because he was one of the only reoccurring characters that would actually go toe to toe with Fred Sanford. When they argued, he didn't always lose. You know, sometimes he actually got the best of Fred. So <laughs> that was pretty cool. And he always managed to stay friends with Lamont too. Now, during this time, these were some of his busiest years for television and movie work. He appeared in 1973 on an episode of Kung Fu and then The Waltons and Hawaii Five-0 and Banachek. <laughs> and then uh, in 74, he appeared on Gunsmoke three times, and McLeod, and Columbo. He also appeared in an episode of All in the Family where he played a Jewish radical who came to the neighborhood to stop anti-Semitism. <laughs> and so you know he went head to head with Archie Bunker there. I'll tell you, man, these 70s shows, that was a lot of really edgy comedy going on and people took it with you know a grain of salt and actually laughed at it but man it was some serious stuff between Sanford and Son, All in the Family and the Jeffersons. Woo! Now here are a few of the movies he appeared in during the same time frame. The Thief Who Came to Dinner, The Clones, Papillon. Now that's a classic movie okay that's with Steve McQueen. You should check that out if you've never seen it. The Laughing Policeman, Goodnight Jackie, the Castaway Cowboy, The Towering Inferno. That's another classic right there. And that puts it right up to 1975, which was his last appearance on Sanford and Son. Which is when he got a full-time role on Barney Miller, playing in 35 episodes as Detective Sergeant Chano Amanguela. And again, his unique delivery and character style stood out on the show. I was a little young at the time. I caught it in reruns later on and it made more sense and I enjoyed it as I got older, which is like right now too. I really enjoy looking back at some Barney Miller. And from there, he just kept working in television and film all the way to 2018. Let's give you a list of some of the film. The Night They Took Miss Beautiful, The Mean Dog Blues, Evening in Byzantium, The Prisoner of Zenda, The Night the Bridge Fell Down, Let's Get Harry, the Trouble with Spies, Deep Cover, Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, which is part two of Honey, I Shrunk the Kid, <laughs> Hot Shots, part two, that's a comedy film, A Low Down Dirty Shame, another comedy, The Wonderful Ice Cream Suit, Vampires in 1998, he played Father Giovanni, The Other Side of the Wind in 2018. Now, the list of his television appearances is really long. I'm just going to give you some of the hits. <laughs> so, Hunter, a couple episodes in 1977. Then he went on to play in 12 episodes of Soap from 80 to 81. Then The Greatest American Hero. I liked that show. Heart to Heart, Quincy, Hill Street Blues, Zorro and Son, Simon and Simon, Miami Vice, four episodes, The Paper Chase, Blue Thunder, Heart to Heart, Cagney and Lacey, Simon and Simon, Airwolf, MacGyver, Murder She Wrote, Magnum P.I., The Monsters Today, Farewell to Grandpa, Super Password, Growing Pains, 
Yeah, <laughs> it just keeps going on. The Fresh Prince, the X Files. It goes all the way up. Star Trek, Deep Space Nine. Yeah, Walker, Texas Ranger, and you get the drift. It was a long, wonderful career. Sadly, in January of 2021, Gregory passed away at the age of 80 after a battle with cancer. To all of us fans of the 70s TV shows, he was always a standout, and he always will be. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tribute to Gregory Sierra. If you did, please take a moment and subscribe, or maybe share the video on Facebook. I'll be back with more right here on Cool Classics.